Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to create an accordion using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Accordion is very useful when you would like to accommodate more content in less space. So we will be creating an accordion that you are seeing on my screen with three items. So when you click on the header of the item, then we just expand its content. And if you click it again, then we just collapse it. At a time, you can expand only one accordion item. So now item 1 is expanded. If you'd like to expand the second item, then the first item will be collapsed. Now let's get started. I have initial HTML, Styler, CSS and AverageJS files are created. And I have referred Styler, CSS and AverageJS in the HTML page. Now let's create markup for accordion. So before that, let us run this HTML page. Right click, open with the live server. So let's have the container for accordion first. So accordion iPhone container and inside the container we are going to have the item so first let us have the accordion item accord iphone item and inside the item we are going to have the two sections like header section and content section so let's define the header first plus we are going to have the content section so accord iphone content enter so this header is going to have the title so let's create title let's say accord iphone title and the same way this content is going to have the content body so accord iphone body and now let's give some title for the first item we are going to say accordion item one hash one and for the body section we are going to have some random test like you know lorium test now we have created html markup for accordion item let's style it so go to styler css and as usual let's reset the padding and margin globally padding 0 margin 0 and then box size button box and let's define the body so body and let's have some background color background color hash 4c 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 and it gives some kind of gray color height 100 vh leave it like this and now let us define our accordion container and let's have some background color first so that we can see the content so background hash fff some light color remember this color code because you will be using this color code most often while you are working on front end applications width 400 pixel and borders one pixel solid axis you see now we have this accordion placed at the top left let's place it at the middle of the screen and for that we need to use display flex on its parent so body is the parent right so use display flex justify content center and align items center and if you are not aware of the flex Please refer the description of the video. I have a lot of videos on flex. Now let's style accordion header and body. And have some background color. Let's say black. Have some color, right? Color should be FFFF, light color again. And let's have some padding. Let's say 1 REM and 1.25 REM. In the same way, let us style the accordion body. So, accord iPhone body we are going to have the same padding here that's it right we need this much of styling and go to this html and let's repeat this accordion item two times Control c there we go now we have three accordion items let's this title three and it should be now it's time to implement expand and collapse behaviors so by default all the items are expanded so let them collapse so for that i am going to define a CSS class called collapse and before that let us give some height to this accordion content so go to the HTML here we have the accordion content right so let's take this and just give some height to that say height 120 pixel and let us give some transition all 0.4 seconds e out now go to collapse and have height 0 pixel we are going to apply this collapse class to the accordion content so that its height will be 0 pixel. So let's take this collapse class and go to this HTML. Let's apply to that. 
there we go now we can see that height is 0 pixel but still you can see the content right outside you can see the content here so for that we need to use the property that is overflow so go to again content overflow hidden that solves the problem now apply this collapse class to the each content now let us have some border bottom to this accordion item so that we can separate them right so just define somewhere here accord iphone item and give border bottom again one pixel solid as you see that's it but at the bottom of this accordion item 3 you can see that there are two borders are applied one is accordion container one and another one is border bottom of this accordion item 3 so let's remove this accordion item 3's border bottom if it is last item accord item and last of type border none let's implement expand and collapse behavior using javascript we need to expand or collapse accordion content whenever user click on accordion header so let's access on the headers so take this const accord headers equal to so document dot query selector all class name so dot accord header we need to iterate to the accord headers and we need to listen to the click event so accord headers which is node list for each we can use and it takes the callback function and gives accord header on each iteration so accord header dot add event listener so click event we are going to listen then it takes the callback function so name it toggle item we are going to define it soon then false so define toggle item here so function toggle item function and let's print the value of this so console.log this bring up console so click on the header so here this refers to the accordion header that we clicked right so close it as a first step we need to access the content element which is next sibling of this header that user clicked and then we need to make sure that collapse class is applied or not so so const current content element equal to this dot we know that this refers to the header that user clicked we can use the method called next element sibling that is available on the node object so next element sibling and here we are going to check whether collapse class is applied to that current content or not so const is collapsed equal to current content element dot class list object we need to use dot contains method you can use and then we need to provide the class name which is collapse contains method returns true if collapse class is applied to the current content element and then we are going to iterate to the all the accordion headers and we are going to get the next element sibling which is nothing but the content element so accordion header start again for each and it gives the accordion header and inside that just copy this and so just name it content element and now it should be ACH not this so this means it will refer to the current content element and here we are going to write the logic that we can use the same statement and instead of current content element just make it as content element and use the not symbol so here we are checking if any of the content element is not having the collapse class which means if any of the content element is already expanded then just collapse it we can just take this entire thing instead of contents just do add so we are going to add the collapse class so that the content element will be collapsed as of now if you click on any header nothing will happen because by default all the items are collapsed right so we can check that press f12 thing go to source and if you click on anything it comes here but it never goes to this inside the statement because as of now no element is expanded let's come out of this for each and now we are going to add the logic to toggle this current content so take this current content element and check if 
is collapsed so if the current content element is collapsed then expand it so take this and use this current content element and it should be removed right so we need to remove if it is already collapsed we need to expand it now click on any item just click on the first item per se there we go now we can see that the content expanded just click on the second item now you can see that first item is collapsed and second item is expanded we can expand only one item at a time but here you can see that whenever we collapse all the items this you no know, curtain is floating right so go to styler css and here on the body instead of center for all line items just use flex start give some margin for the container so margin top 80 pixel so now it will not float right so this is cool right now let us add some transform effect to this content element so that we can see some animation is happening while expanding and collapsing so go to shellet css and go to the accordion content here i say so transform scale y and one transform origin top whenever it is collapse scale y zero just click on any item now we can see some animation is happening from top to bottom right and when you are collapsing also we can see some animation you can see it very clearly if you just increase the transition time let's say one second one second will be more of course just refresh click on it right we can see that cool animation is happening so just uh, reset to the point four and even 3, 5 or something is good. So this way you can create the accordion using HTML, CSS and JavaScript.